Hi everyone, I'm back. Um, thank you for uh, taking the time to watch the video. It's Christy from Christy's Crafty Corner. I had taken a break for a little while from a lot of things, including crafting. Uh, but I've, I'm have i starting to get back into the groove. I made this 8x10 picture. Um, it was an idea that I had. It was kind of a riff on something else I had seen. Um, so I'm really happy with how it came out. So it's 8x10. It's on a canvas board. I covered the back of the board with lace that I decoupaged down um, with the Mod Podge. I added uh, glitter to it so the the background does have a bit of shine and sparkle to it. I um, outlined the shape of the um, canvas first with some sequins and then I put in a line of the pearls by the yard. I filled in, I started with these large um, acrylic gems. I had picked up a big box of those from Michael's um, with a coupon. I, it was in the floral section. Um, and then also in the floral section I had put in some of these blue flat back marbles. Um, these clear acrylic flowers were a gift. I think from Kim over at the 4G's. Um, thank you Kim. And then I just started having fun layering. I have some bling buttons. I have um, pieces from jewelry that I had taken apart. I have some bling pieces from, I think it was Elegant Embellishments. I'm not positive. I have underneath, I have some pins that I put down and I just started layering. I used a, with a lot of the larger items I used E6000 to attach um, and then as the items got smaller I used the hot glue gun and then I also wanted to let you know To get the um, shape, uh, I had seen this idea before, something similar to it, and they had printed off a coloring book page and used that a uh, simple shape to trace onto um, a canvas, and then they filled it in. They did it very much um, a shabby chic style. Um, and filled it in mainly with pearls. I didn't quite want to go in that direction. Um, I've been spending some time decorating and I'm really not going in a shabby chic direction, which is why I've got this color palette here. It goes much better in my living room. Uh, <coughs> excuse me, but for the shape, I ended up finding I was, um, setting up my craft room. This is a chipboard, I think it was an album. I had several of these star shapes came together. I also had it comes, um, there's five of these chipboard pieces and a jump ring. So I have another idea to do something similar with these, which is what I'm going to work on next. But this is, I ended up, I base coated the shape white front and back um, and then I covered the front of it with a layer of the Mod Podge mixture that I'd used in the background just because if there were any parts of it peeking through I wanted it to have that white sparkle so I wouldn't have to worry about if I had any holes or gaps. Um, I do have this was part of these are the gems that I got I think the container was I want to say it was $20 for 
for the gems. It has several shapes and sizes in it, which makes it good um, to fill in the gaps. And then I more than likely just got the marbles from the dollar store. So thank you very much for stopping by. I appreciate it. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. But I was really happy with how it came out. Thanks. Have a great day. Bye.